Thank you so much for being here and taking your time out for your valuable insights on the university. So also students who have joined, thank you so much students for joining this uh, webinar and taking your time out as well for being in this webinar to know more about the university and to know more about what are requirements in terms of the university facilities and everything. So I'm not taking much time. So I am here to introduce Ms. Lewis, who is the representative of UMCH Germany, Hamburg campus. So uh, moving forward, uh, most of the students who would know about us, we are uh, Ganpari and we provide one-to-one -one personalized assistance guidance throughout the admission process. We offer free application services assistance as well for those who would like to get connected with the students who have already registered through us. We have a super mentor program where we get you connected with the students and to know more about the universities and the experiences what they have shared in the university. So that's one thing that we provide in terms of super mentor program. So for the next um, agenda for the 30 minutes, we will be having the webinar in terms of the university, the university requirements, the facilities, what we do and what we, how we can assist them as well. And we'll have the Q&A session in the last. So students who would like to know more about requirements in detail, you can just drop your questions in the chat box and we will answer the questions in the end. Yes, thank you. And uh, also thank you for the invitation. I'm very pleased to be here. Well, hello, everyone. And uh, welcome. Thank you for you for taking this hour together with Jay and Barry and with me. And uh, my name is Louise Ann. I'm at uh, Academic Advising here at UMCH. And uh, my job is uh, to answer any possible questions that you might have during your admissions together with Jay and Barry. Um, they're also very, very good at what they're doing, quite competent. So if you have any questions, always contact Jay and Barry or our academic advising teams, whatever you might wish. So the agenda for today will be that I'll talk a bit about the university profile. I'll talk a bit about our campus, the study concept, the study structure, a bit about student life, Last but not least, I'll go through to our, I'll go through our tuition fees and our preparatory courses, and at the end, I'll tell a bit about the admission procedure. Will be a bit fast today because uh, we have thirty minutes today, and normally this PowerPoint is uh, set up to be for like maybe four to five minutes. But um, you are more than welcome to say anything if it goes too fast. And um, as Miss George said, you will have the possibility to answer some questions on later. Well then, let's start. And uh, the beautiful university, the beautiful campus that you can see here is the UMFST in Tagumores, Romania. This is our main campus. UMCH in Hamburg, Germany is the private branch of the UMFST, which means that we follow the Romanian curriculum. The UMFST um, has over 70 years of experience. Good accredi accreditation. So our main campus in Tiger is accredited by the Romanian Agency for Quality Assurance in Higher Education, which is a full member of the European Association for Quality Assurance in Higher Education, which means that our main campus, Tiger is accredited. So what about the UMCH? UMCH here in Hamburg, Germany is distinguished by Anabin. Um, it is like a database for the evaluation of foreign education qualifications. And um, by Anabin, we are distinguished with the highest possible status of H+, which means that as well as UMFT and UMCH, we are accredited and we do, we do enjoy status, the highest possible here at UMCH that you can get in Germany. Our main campus is also listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. You can see the ID here if you want to have a look at it. So what about international recognition? Our study program is Bologna compliant, which means that after completing your study program of human medicine here after six years, 
you will get the qualification to um to get your approbation and the license to practice medicine throughout the whole eu and many other countries right after graduating you do not need to take any additional tests as an example if you would study human medicine in poland you will have to um to have one year of res residency in order to be able to practice medicine you do not have that here you you graduate here after six years you get your degree and you do hold the license to practice medicine throughout the whole EU without any extra tests or residencies needed. Throughout your whole study, you will get 360 ECTS credits, which means 60 ECTS credits per year. ECTS is a credit transfer system, as you can see here in the PowerPoint. You get that because it ensures that the study program consists of comparable points and credits okay which means that is ts points they say how much of how much work on an average is going into that study program um one is ts point is about 25 to 30 years uh, sorry 25 to 30 hours of um of work that you get into the study program okay um, I can see someone is raising their hand. Um, I don't know if we should do that later or now. So uh, in the end, maybe we can have a quick, okay. we are definitely having a QA and a session. So you, all your queries and all your questions, you can just drop in the last. So we will mm -hmm. be able to answer those questions. Okay. Maybe yeah. you can write them down if you have any questions, because yes. I know this can be very, very much. So if you're able to maybe write them in the chat or maybe write them down on a piece of paper that you have, that would be great. Yes, please. Yes. So um, UMCH campus in Hamburg, Germany. I have a short video of the campus here, a campus tour. So just clean back with a tea, a coffee, whatever you might have um, and just enjoy the video. So where is the UMCH campus located? In short, in Hamburg. And Hamburg is a great city. With more than 1.8 million inhabitants, Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany. There are many green spaces, proximity to the water, even a private beach and many architectural highlights. The North German metropolis has a wide range of leisure activities and a cosmopolitan and a diverse student scene to offer. But that's not all. Hamburg has 25 colleges and universities, making the city an internationally recognized research and university location, especially in the science and medicine. Hamburg is also a media startup center and has a vibrant culture scene. The UMCH campus is located in the Hamburg district of Barenfeld. With its many parks, Barenfeld is one of the greenest districts of Hamburg and it has excellent connections to the city centre. With your UMCH semester ticket, you can use your public transport in large parts of the city for free. Furthermore, the campus is located in the middle of an urban development project, the so-called Science City Barenfeld, in which the University of Hamburg and many other scientific institutions are involved. Science City is a huge planned university and science area that will be built around the UMCH campus in the next few years, including apartments and much more. The UMCH campus itself impresses with approximately 4,500 square meters of teaching and study space, barrier-free lecture, seminar and administration rooms, as well as laboratories of various types. This also includes a modern campus infrastructure and multimedia high-tech equipment for all types of rooms. We are very pleased to be able to offer our students a modern digital infrastructure. This includes, for example, our digital anatomy and dissection table. This high-tech device from the company Anatomage shows a life-size three-dimensional representation of the human body, which can be cut at any point and, in contrast to dissections on real human bodies, viewed from all sides. Of course, our students also receive all the learning material for their studies in the digital form on the UMCH learning platform. This includes comprehensive university internal scripts. These limit the content that is required in the examinations and therefore serve as a helpful guideline. But of course, UMCH students also have access to numerous online portals, such as Clinical Key Student by Elsevier.
the largest and most important online platform in the field of medical literature. In this way, you will have access to an enormous range of textbooks, journals, and many other digital learning materials. Welcome to UMCH campus. Here, you can see our entrance area. At the reception, we support you in all small and large matters of student life. I need a certificate of enrollment. Are there still free places for the next Hurry Hire workshop? How can I log into the Wi-Fi? Help, I lost my access card. Together, we will find a solution for all matters. A typical university day begins in the auditorium. This is where our lectures take place, usually in the morning. Many students follow the lectures using their laptops or iPads. There are scripts for each lecture, which are made available online. This is due to the fact that there are scripts for each lecture, which are made available online on the UMCH digital learning platform. The lectures are recorded digitally so that our students can access them around the clock. When the lectures are over, the students are divided into small groups for their respective practical activities. The small group lessons take place in the different laboratories or seminar rooms. In this laboratory, for example, physiology and histology are taught. Via the screens, everyone has comfortable view of the presentation and important diagrams. The laboratory types you see here are also technically state-of-the-art and leave nothing to be desired. Among other things, biochemistry and biophysics classes take place here. In addition, you will also apply your acquired knowledge in experiments here. Of course, anatomy must not be neglected either. In this type of laboratory, we work with digital anatomy and dissection table and a variety of anatomical models. This makes anatomy lessons even more varied and vivid. Here, our students can, after an introduction, deepen their knowledge in small groups apart from the classes and under the guidance of student tutors. In our IT labs, Classes in medical informatics are held. These classes not only deal with the important topic of processing, managing patient data, but also with exciting questions in the area of research, such as how do I conduct scientific research and obtain evidence-based information, especially important in times of fake news. In our seminar rooms, among other things, our international students learn German, but the subject Romanian culture studies is also taught here. In this subject, which is only a small part of the curriculum, students have the opportunity to take an intercultural look beyond their own horizons. Exciting discussions and presentations from the field of ethics, history and culture take place here. Of course, there is also a lot to be studied, as befits medical studies. In this respect, our study rooms offer a pleasant environment. Some rooms are quieter so you can concentrate on your self-study. Other rooms are often used by study groups. During the breaks, the students are drawn to our coffee corners or our activity room. Until the end of the year, the study and break rooms will generously extend by just under 1,000 square meters. So that was a short campus tour. I'll talk about a bit more about our study concepts right away. And um, as you have seen, it is a first class medical study program that we offer here. It is the study program of human medicine, which is taught in English here at our campus. And um, as I said before, our UMFST, the State University has more than 70 years of experience. So you've seen in the video that um, in the different rooms, biology and seminars, it is quite small. That is because after going, um, after going out of the auditorium in the big, big, uh, big space where you have your lessons, you will get into small groups for your practical appliances, anatomy, biology, physics, you name it. So you go into small groups of maximum of 25 people. The reason behind that is because we are an international campus. We've got people from India, Pakistan, Iran, Norway. We've got, of course, several from Germany. We've got multiple from Spain and Asian countries as well. Um, we want our students to have a more intimate or private study experience because it is very important to us that you do not feel excluded or even not important, irrelevant even. 
because we've seen that maybe uh, you, you have seen it maybe before in a big big room while teaching a lesson we you have hundreds of different people and nobody knows anyone the professor will know you by name and you're always more than welcome to contact your professor you have right across the hall you have the lounge where the professors are staying you are always more than welcome to knock on the door and ask i didn't quite catch that can you maybe explain it to me once more just so you know it is a very is a very intimate atmosphere that that we have here you do not have the known hierarchy that the professor is on top and is looking down at you that is not what you have here another difference to um typically study programs here that is that you do not have a physicum or a stats exam here these are two major tests or exams in germany and uh, the physicum is the one where the most students fail just so you know so um now you i was you might have questions uh, well what about other study programs or um, well how about maybe if you want to go um anywhere else as you've seen we have uh, some tuition fees but these are significantly lower than the tuition fees in other countries such as uh, usa and um, like even great britain and our study program is a shorter short amount of time we've got six years the study program of human medicine compared to many other countries where you might have up to 12 years and also there is no need to complete any pre-med or uh, take the MSAT. You do not need to take any extra steps. You do not need even to take an English course. That is not needed. You can apply straight away with your high school diploma. So study structure, how is the study program structured? The total study program is six years, as I already told you, each semester consists of 14 weeks and the curriculum includes a lot of compulsory elective courses and it is built up in different modules. So you have here a, a study structure, how is the teaching? You can see here that the first two years we have our pre-clinical pre subjects and after that we have the clinical subjects. Throughout your whole study, you will have theoretical lessons on our campus here in Hamburg. And from your first year to your third year, you will have two weeks summer module each on our main campus in Romania, where you, as an example, will have pathology, which will be very interesting for you later on, because we do not work with your cadavers here at the UMCH, we do have the Anna Tomas table. From fifth semester, which means from the third year on, you will have the bedside teaching in our teaching hospitals, which will be held in German. Now, do not worry, it will be held in German, of course, but from the second year on, you will be introduced to the German terminology step by step. So you do not need to worry about that. Here you have a sample timetable um, of what, uh, but the first and second semester will look like you do or you do have some optional courses or the elective courses that are talked about chemistry, physics and biology. You do need to take two of them. So we have some different internships that you have to complete here. During your first year, you will have to take a four weeks nursing internship. If you do have some time before starting your studies here, we do recommend you take those four weeks of nursing internship beforehand, simply because we know it can be a lot. It can be very, very much to take in during the first year, you know, a new city, new country, maybe even, um, new people, or maybe maybe some um, some problems during, during a biology or physics because you didn't take a preparatory course, Whatever it might be, you will have the four weeks. If you have an internship beforehand, you will have four weeks to calm down a bit and, and to maybe read up on your different study subjects. Furthermore, from the second year on, you will have medical practice, which will be four weeks clinical internships per year. When you go to the teaching hospitals from the third year on, which means fifth semester, as you can see, you will need to take four shifts of 12 hours per year 
and that means night shifts. Why? Simply because we want our students to be prepared to start practicing medicine and the hospitals that are working at hospitals. We want you to get the feeling of, okay, what does it really look like? That is what our study program is built to do to prepare you in the best possible way. So what about exams? As I said before, we do not have physical or stats exam here, but you will have multiple choice tests and practical examinations during and at the end of each module. At the end of your study program, you will have a big thesis that you will write comparable with a master's thesis and a final examination, which would be a big test containing all these different subjects that you had from fifth to twelfth semester. Good. You can see here our teaching hospitals, we've got 18 in total, 17 of them in Germany, one in Spain. Now, the ones in Germany, they are across the whole country. We've got one in Speyer, in Meurs, we've got several of them, and each different hospital has its own specialization. Just so you know that. So if you're maybe interested particularly in cardiology or what, what else it might be surgery you do have the chance to go to a specific hospital that has that as a specialization good if you start with your bedside teaching in german how does that work you can see here it's a timetable about how is it structured you can see third year it starts with a couple of weeks at the end of your semester with the bedside teaching you will still have lectures and practical activities here on campus, just so you know. Good. Now I'll show you a video of one of our students that visited a teaching hospital of ours. And just lean back and uh, you'll get a bit of a teaser what it will look like. Hi, I'm Greta and we are the students from UMCH and today we would like to show you our hospital St. Josef in Meurs. Our daily routine at the teaching hospital begins every day at 8 a.m. with participation in the early morning meeting. Here current cases are discussed and we get an overview of the latest developments. Afterwards, during the morning rounds, we get the opportunity to learn about various disease patterns firsthand. The doctors take a lot of time to teach us and are available to answer any questions. Our daily schedule is supplemented from time to time by practical exercises, such as sewing courses and presentations, where we are taught theoretical knowledge and have the opportunity to apply it in practice. Among the highlights of our clinical practical training are certainly the experiences we gain in the treatment and operating rooms. During our lunch breaks, we go to the cafeteria, where we have a large selection of different dishes. By the way, the food at the St. Josef Hospital is free for us students. Again and again, the doctors take the time to introduce us individually to various topics, for example, sonography. In the process, we simulate real examination situations and practice for our future work as physicians. During some procedures, such as this endoscopy, we are given detailed explanations of the various procedures involved in each examination and are given the opportunity to apply our anatomical expertise. In this way, we are taught directly and practically by experienced professionals who perform these procedures on a daily basis. Overall, the experiences with patients, surgeries and workshops make the time at the teaching hospital a special experience. Moreover, what I particularly like about the city of Meurs is the friendly and open-minded nature of the people. Meurs is also not far from other great student cities, such as Cologne or Düsseldorf, so you can easily visit them on a day trip. All in all, it can be said that we are offered a wide range of theoretical and practical training at the St. Josef Hospital in Meurs. We feel very well taken care of here.
So that was a video about what it looks like at our teaching hospitals. Now, well, you graduated, you got uh, your degree, so now what? We offer here the, the possibility of getting the internationally recognized degree of PhD after graduating. The PhD degree is the most well-known doctoral degree in, in the English-speaking world. Now, should you wish for a doctoral position at a state university here in Germany, you can also do that. There's no problem with applying for a doctoral position in a German state university, okay? You do not need to take any further steps. As I said before, it is quite simple. You get your degree, you've got the license to go within the whole EU where you want to without having to taking any further steps. So academic research. Here you have an overview of uh, different research areas and current research subjects or projects. Um, I would go more into detail with those, but unfortunately we do not have the time. But uh, if you're specifically interested in academic research, you also have a Reach Higher Research Academy that you can join. As I said before, we have the Research Academy. Uh, we have different lectures outside of the curriculum that you are more than welcome to join. You have different events that are designed to motivate the students to work in academia. We always support if you want to go into your research field. Now, what about uh, student life? Student life is of course also very important. It is not only about studying, it's also about um, developing socially. I do have a little video here explaining what we do offer as uh, different clubs, etc. UMCH supports its students in the area of student life with additional offers. Not only do we hold parties at regular intervals, there is also a series of events called Reach Higher, for example, in which experts from the fields of personal and professional development hold speeches on a wide variety of topics and host discussions. In addition, Workshops on various topics are held during which students can further their education and gain their first practical experience. Furthermore, further student clubs are being established, for example, in the field of music. A regular table is also offered. You so, as you can see, we do offer a variety of different events. We have student clubs, we do have a fitness, uh, we do have a gym that we're cooperating with, Right around the corner, they do offer different uh, yoga, swimming, whatever you're interested in. Um, so you do have a variety of different offers outside of the curriculum and only studying. So we know that studying can be quite a lot. It can be overwhelming. So if you would need some help, what do we offer? We do have some educational coaching. Um, support for students if you've got any issues related to career development. Um, as an example, you saw uh, at, uh, at our teaching hospital, but I would like cardiology, but I'm not quite sure how to I get there. Would you, we do offer you some support for that. You are always more than welcome to contact us and um, say any, any different kind of subjects that you might be worried about. Also, it is that it, educational coaching is specifically designed to um, get up some goals and strategies and prospects for our students if they say i already know i want to go into surgery clinical field what whatever you, you might be interested in that is specifically designed for you to get a helping hand in choosing your career path or if you already know where you want to go with specialization maybe later on after getting your degree we always help you with that now, we do also have some consultation hours. If you would like to uh, book some during your first two years, we have some fixed blocks during your first, first uh, two years where you're always more than welcome to ask our lecturers individual questions related to classes on top of being able to just knock on the door and ask some questions after being done with the lecture. So, um, what else? living in Hamburg. Also a big, big thing. We do have some different, um, some different housing options that we cooperate with. We do have some pr private student residences such as the FIS, the UniNest, urban living, etc. 
And um, you do have some examples here on the PowerPoint slide, which always more than welcome to have a look at our website. We do state the different um, corporations on our website. If you'd like to have a look into those, you do always get your own room. Um, you have study rooms on some, even a roof terrace and someone, and you always have your own bathroom and kitchen. So costs are about 800 to 900 euros a month. As said in the campus tour, if you can remember, I know it is a lot to take in, we do, do get the half a file semester ticket when studying here at UMCH, which means that you get a ticket for a large scope where you can use traffic transport for free. This, this applies for regular buses, trains, subway, ferry, you name it. Okay, so you can see the large scope here on the PowerPoint slide. It is not only Hamburg, but also um, some different cities outside of Hamburg as Pinneberg, Harburg, Stade, etc. Erasmus, should our campus not be international enough for you? You do have the option to um, study abroad during your second year of study here in the terms of Erasmus program. Okay, so um, if you want to do that, you just show the interest and we'll help you. As an example, we have some students that wish to go to Italy. That is very, very popular here. So you do have the opportunity to also stay abroad if it might not be international enough for you. Tuition fees. As we are a private campus here in Hamburg, Germany, we do have certain tuition fees. So the tuition fees are 28,000 euros a year, which means 14,000 euros a semester. Additionally, we do have an application fee, a one-time fee of 580 euros and an enrollment fee of 3,500 euros. Just so you're aware, the first year containing the 28,000 euros tuition fee for semester and the one-time immatriculation or enrollment fee of 3,500 euros, which means 31,500 euros in total, need to be paid in total the first year. After that, the tuition fees are paid per semester. Now, should you wish for an installment plan, you're always more than welcome to contact us if we, if we as an example, we have some, some applicants that say I want to, um, to apply now, because especially for our international applicants, now is the time to apply. Our study place is allocated successively, which means it is on a first come, first serve basis. Okay. So if you wish to apply now and just say, well, 31,500 euros, that's quite a lot. We do know that we're always more than happy to look at an installment plan that will be four months with three different three, three different installments and one month of course. So preparatory courses. We do have an admission procedure here which contains an admissions test and evaluation. We do offer some different preparatory courses. As an example, we do have a college semester that's like an intensive 12 week course that is specifically designed to prepare you for our admissions test and your first year of studies. We even have an early bird going on starting the 28th of January. If you wish to uh, enroll for your college, for our college semester during May, you will, you will save 820 euros, but more to that later on. The 12 week intensive course college semester, as well as our pre-medical course, which is like a crash course, three weeks where you go through the subjects that you had in high school, you can see it as a kind of refresher. Um, both are here on our campus and also online. So you do know that. Um, okay, so our upcoming dates. As I said before, you can also take part in our preparatory courses online, but we always we always recommend that you come here to our campus to get to know our professors, to get to know us, to get to know our campus and uh, Hamburg. It's an amazing city. 
The next college semester is starting February 6th this year to April, and we do have one in May. Now, um, our pre-medical course starting before our study, the study program of human medicine always starts in the winter semester, which means end of September, start of October. The last date for pre-medical course will be July. And one in September, but the date is not set yet for that. So admissions procedure. So we do have an admissions procedure. As I told you, we had to have a test on the interview, but the whole admission procedure takes place online via our, via our application portal. So you register online together with Giantberry. You fill in in the mandatory box that we have at DreamApply that uh, you are coming from via the agency Giantberry and you upload your application documents in that portal. Later on, you take part in the brief evaluation, which is the admissions test and the motivation-based interview. So the admissions test is 75 multiple choice questions. You've got one and a half hour to complete it. It contains 25 questions in biology, 25 in chemistry, and 25 in general knowledge, okay? The questions, biology and chemistry, are on a normal high school graduation level. The interview that will follow will be motivational based, where we will, of course, test your English skills as well. But it is also important that we want to get to know you, the person behind behind the screen who is sitting sitting there, as I already said before. We do enjoy quite an intimate atmosphere here on our campus. Everybody knows everybody. And we want to get to know you, your motivation. Why do you want to study medicine? Is there maybe a, a specific story? We want to get to know you. So and after completing the whole admissions procedure, you will be notified one day afterwards, the latest, if you've completed. So again, some just key facts about our admission procedure. It is always possible to apply for our next winter semester, which means not this one starting here, this September, end of September, start of October, but also next year, which will be winter semester 2024-2025. It is always possible to register or apply for that one as well in advance. The whole admission procedure takes place online. You do not need to hand in any hard copies of your high school diploma or anything whatsoever, not until your enrollment was successful. After that, we will need hard copies, but they are only submitted after the confirmation of admissions. Good, regarding non-EU citizens, um, please contact us if you have any further problems or questions regarding a specific requirements if you're not EU. Just so you know that beforehand, but I'm also sure if you have any other related questions or you cannot get a hold of us or anything else, you're also more than welcome to contact Giant Boat. They are very, very good. They've been good partners, so they are also able to answer several questions. Good transfer students. Let's say you want to transfer, you already started your study program of human medicine. So you want to transfer into a high year. That is always possible from the second year onwards to the fifth year. Each and every single transfer request is handled individually. So you send us an email, you get an answer back with a questionnaire, you fill it out, you send the documents that are to be handed in, which you can see here. And then we will check your curriculum together with the dean. Each and every single case is checked individually because we want to make that happen for you. So career opportunities, your advantages on the job market with this degree. As I said before, um, you do not need to, um, to do anything else after graduation. You don't need to take on your residency or complete any other tests if you want to practice within the whole EU, which me, which uh, makes this study program very unique. And you've also got excellent chances on the German labor market. Um, and yeah, as I already said before, high reputation 
I don't need to repeat myself here. I think um, that was stated quite 